Hey everybody, happy Tuesday. I'm jumping on here because like I said yesterday, I want to start baking more because I'm not good at it at all because I don't have the attention span to like watch it. So I am going to try to do pumpkin scones today. I love scones so much with a nice um, cup of tea. So let's see if I could do it. So stay with me. Here are the ingredients. Flour, baking soda or baking powder, pumpkin spice, a can of pumpkin from Trader Joe's, some cinnamon, a little bit of salt, some honey because I don't have vanilla, which is unfortunate because I always have vanilla, but they said you could substitute um, vanilla for honey, just sugar, um, baking soda, butter, and one egg. So let's do this. Okay, kudos to you bakers because I am stressed. I'm hot. <laughs> I hope this is okay, we'll see. I let it chill for um, 30 minutes and now I'm gonna cut it into like six to eight little scones and then hopefully. So it chilled in my favorite bowl. Look at how cute the bowl is. If it doesn't taste good, dude, I have some nice bowls. <laughs> okay, and then here is the, <laughs> here's the scone and I am going to cut it now and then I'm gonna put it in parchment paper on 400 degrees for 20 minutes, I believe. So, and then I'm gonna make like a um, a drizzle for the top. So let's do hey guys, this. Here's the final pr product. They smell delicious. Um, I made like a little drizzle on top. I did forget to do like an egg wash with the sugar on top. So I think the little like sugar drizzle on top will add the sweetness that it might need. But other than that, I think they look pretty good. So I think it's a, maybe like a, oh, I haven't tasted them yet, so. But on the looks, what do you think, June? Like, like good. Eight like, out of 10, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you for being on this journey, bye.